everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something that was requested. It's to show what's on my iPhone, all the apps and everything that I use along with how I edit all of my Instagram photos. So I'm going to share all my secrets with you guys and I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, so this is my phone. It's an iPhone 5 um, gold and then my case is a case from Disney World. It's by Dooney and Burke. It's really old. It was white. Now it's like brown. I need to get a new one, but it's so cute that I don't want to throw it away yet. Michael got this for me for my birthday and it matches my purse, but this is, oh, it's 11-11. Um, this is a picture of Michael and I, and when you open it up, there's another picture. I keep the front um, home page pretty clean. I just like the way that looks, and then I do have one more page where I keep my apps. Um, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so on the front page here, I have text messages, my calendar, photos, and camera. Obviously, I use those all the time. Um, and down below, I have phone, Safari, mail, and iTunes. I don't use the mail. Oops. I don't use the mail or the iTunes, um, but I do use Safari and the phone, obviously. Okay, so the second page is where I keep my apps. As you guys can see, I keep most of them in folders, and I have little hearts. They used to be colored. I don't know how I did that, but then they turned to black. I have no idea how that happened, but like if you click on it, then it's colored. So that one's like blue, purple. I don't know how it got changed. But, but anyways, the only two that I don't have in a folder is my Instagram app because I'm on that all the time always looking at, um, you know, people's posts and everything. I love Instagram. I follow a bunch of people too. Um, and then I also have my YouTube app. I'm not going to click that, but basically it's just for people that make YouTube videos. You can get this app and it shows you, um, your views. It, I can reply to comments on there. I can, you know, set videos to live on there, do a bunch of stuff. Um, just for people that make videos and in this first folder here I have notes which I use all the time clock weather contacts calculator settings app store game center um, passbook obviously these are just the apps that come with the phone and then I do have the hunt and Poshmark those are for um, like clothes and stuff in the second folder here, more apps that come with the phone. I also keep Pandora. I love Pandora. I use it all the time. Um, these are some of the ones that I listen to. And then I also have FaceTime and Audible. You guys know I love Audible. Okay, next folder I have Twitter. Um, which I use all the time. If you guys aren't following me, you should. Okay, and then I have Gmail, which is obviously all my email. PayPal, um, I play Temple Run, I love that game, and then I also play Candy Crush. That's one of my favorite games that I just started playing and it gets really addicting. Yeah, I can't stop playing it for like hours on end, but I won't bore you with it right now. Um, I also have my fitness pal. This is like a calorie tracker and all that stuff and then Capital One. Um, and then in my last folder here, this is probably what you guys are most interested in. This is like my little photography folder where I keep all of my um, photo editing apps and everything. So I have the PS Express, which is like um, Photoshop for your phone. I haven't used this in about a year, but I used to use it all the time before I got the um, app right here called More Beauté. Um, basically this app is where you can like smooth your skin. I'll show you guys what I mean. So here's a picture that I uploaded to Instagram the other day. So you can make it really smooth or, you know, this just basically is Photoshop. It like blurs all your imperfections. So I do use that one. Basically, I just do a little bit of smoothing um, and then sometimes I brighten it a little bit. But that just gets rid of like zits and everything. 
Um, I used to use the PS Express to do that, um, but you had to like pay for it, so I would just like screenshot the picture. Um, but it looks totally different. Like I haven't used this in a long time, so I could probably delete that app. But the More Beauté is great if you guys want one of like a, a photo smoothing app. The other one that I use all the time is Afterlight. Basically what you what I do in this app, you can probably do a lot more than what I do, but I click that the second button there um, and I usually brighten the picture and then I usually add contrast and then I click the colorful one and that makes me look tan. <laughs> so I do that one and then I usually just save it. Um, there are filters that I'll use sometimes like they have black and white, you know. But I don't use filters very often. I usually just like to make myself look tan and make the picture look bright. The other app that I use all the time is Square Ready. Basically, this just makes your pictures fit into the Instagram box. So if they're too big, I'll show you. Let's see. Okay. Like that, you know, and then you just save it. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. The Afterlight, the More Beauté, and the Square Ready are the three apps that I use pretty much every time I upload a picture. I always make myself look tan, smooth out any pores and um, pimples and everything, and then I use the Square Ready to resize it. Um, the Insta Frame is to put pictures into like a collage. Um, the This one right here called ABM is called A Beautiful Mess. Um, that's what I used to use a long time ago to write words on your picture. Put a picture in and whatever. You can do a border, make it a different color. You can do a phrase, make that a different color whatever you want, add, you could type your own words, but I used to use that all the time. I don't use it too much anymore, but that is a cute app. I also have the GoPro app. So the GoPro app is really nice. It's basically just for um, controlling your GoPro. If you guys have one, I recommend getting this app um, because it also has like a preview where you can see what you're filming before you record. Last app is Clip Stitch. I've only used this a few times. Basically it's for putting together different clips of video. So that's it. Those are all my apps. I don't have too many. Pretty simple, but um, I do love how I keep it in little folders so you can see my picture. Um, I would put those two in a folder, but I use them so often that it just is a hassle. Um, if you're curious about my nail polish color, it's by the brand Studio M, and I will put the name of it right here because I don't know it off the top of my head. Okay, so that is what is on my iPhone. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it, and please subscribe if you haven't yet. I make new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.